Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two Run, where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers per mission. It's time for um, another Guerrilla Ops mission. We are in month number nine and this is Operation Half-Dead Vagabond. Great name. Thank you, uh, dear game, for uh, finding that. Um, in West Africa, we will need to recover an item, aka uh, it's going to be a treasure chest somewhere and we're only fighting a, uh, against um, uh, automated slash robotic targets. Roby is still in the sick bay to recover his negative traits. Um, Outrider is in the sick bay to just get healthy again, which leaves us with the odd combination of Hogbite, um, formerly known as Magister, so our Templar, and Edgar Alien Poe. Um, I think Edgar Alien will do extremely well in this mission. Um, his side arms um, plus face off, uh, lightning strike, uh, lightning hand, uh, quick draw, and so on. All of the shenanigans, the nice little cooldown management that we could uh, do, will help him to deal a lot of damage. So that's the positive part of it. I'm not sure how well uh, Hogbite will do um, specifically when. Mechanic, when I think about mechanical units, he's pretty good against mechs and towers. Um, he is so and so against um, specters because they can simply uh, take him over, um, and their lightning reflexes uh, kind of counters his blade storm a bit. And he's not very good against codices, uh, really, because he's not dealing enough upfront damage to kill a codex with one go. And he also doesn't have uh, face-off yet, so that isn't helpful either. I think with face-off it would look different, um, but yeah. That's it in a nutshell. We have just landed. And we're concealed, that's good. We've got nine turns and a long train. Explosive, um, explosive um, uh, train wagon, and it was considered difficult. So I am actually expecting a pretty decent amount of resistance here. Let's grab the high ground. Okay, well. I saw a couple of a couple of uh, mechs, nothing that we wouldn't be able to deal with. So uh, let's directly get the party started, I suppose. Lightning hands. We'll need all of the cooldowns that we can get. Hard target, minimal visible here. Three mechs, okay, that's good. Nice little overwatch. All right, missed our first uh, free shot. Let's deal with the overwatch first, shall we? So this here would be 100%, uh, not 100% kill, unfortunately not. So, still, let's remove the overwatch. This here, We'll soften up two targets. All right, all right, all right. Got a nice little plus uh, one momentum here. And I think this should kill most of them. It's one down. Alright, the tower is a bit of an issue. We're going to stay down here. Uh, which will kill the mech for 100%. I just don't want the rockets. But the tower will probably take one shot. Which means that Galleon Poe is going to be 
hurt. Um, hurt. Okay, apparently the tower with tactical analysis is not capable of shooting twice. That's fine. I like it. Just want to make sure we're not triggering too many additional packs. Oh, I think we just triggered one back, back there. I see 13 hit points. That must be... Uh, I saw 13 hit points, so that must be a codex. Alright, moving up. Again, we don't want to trigger it too much. Yep, there is the codex. Matter of fact, for now, Edgar Allan Poe wants to retain his concealment, so we're going to use uh, the Shadowfall ability, putting him back into concealment, and we're just parrying for now. Maybe that pack here will will actually trigger. It won't, so we're down to seven rounds. Moving up, we will trigger the pack instead. Let me correct that real quick. We will trigger two packs instead. Unfortunately, he has lightning reflexes. Yeah. Ah, too bad. Yeah, that's nasty. We have a lot of um, specters to deal with. Yeah, this here would only deal 5 damage. It's almost futile to use it. This could be a pretty solid kill. This could also be a pretty solid kill. But I think we're going to go for the Codex first. Because it's a it's a realistic one shot. More than fifty percent chance to one shot it, and if we could pull this off, we would have death from above. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. All right, we do have one advantage on our side, which is we do have tactical analysis. They only have one turn, which means they can move as far as we can. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fall back a little bit maybe to here, out of line of sight, so that they won't be able to um, shadow, uh, um, uh, shadow bound us. This here could be a good start. Let's wait for a second and see if we can actually pull this off in a better way. We could move down here. The problem is we're not having lightning hands at the moment. 
this here is an option. We're immune against explosion damage on our um, Templar. So this could be a realistic option to deal uh, damage to multiple targets. The Codex would split, but that's okay. Um, I'm more in favor. I know that there's one Spectre. I saw the green um, boxes moving here. So there's one Spectre standing here, which we would start to hurt. So yes, we're okay with friendly fire. Right, so there are the two specters. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Okay, so that's one down. Now the question becomes, do we want to actively go in? We can't bladestorm them really, uh, because they do have, uh, they do have their, they do have their lightning reflexes. But I think we would still deal enough damage so that we can clean up next turn. Right. We got the momentum, so might as well consider moving back. Parry will not help us against uh, their ability to shadow uh, melt. Nah. Nah, nah. If if we move back, there is an advantage because uh, then he needs to move here to shadow melt and can basically even after shadow melting only move into into a field of vision where Edgar Allan Poe can kill the specter. So it's actually the better choice for now. I'm okay with the psionic bomb. We will probably need to move anyways. And Edgar can use his pistols to great effect. There's the blade storm plus the lightning reflexes. Yeah. That's why he, I said he's not super good against specters. There's the shadow melt. Shadow bound. Sorry. Yeah, and that will be a hundred percent kill for us. Target eliminated. Oh gosh, come on. Moving out of a, re a reach. No, definitely not a long watch. Come on. Pistol shot and kill the Codex. Thank you. So that's two down. Which brings us to... Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We still got some time left over, so might as well just stay in vision range. It's one more Spectre here. OK, 
Okay, we're still okay on the timer. We're using Bladestorm uh, to kill the whatever drops. Let's put ourselves directly onto the point. That's good. Back in. I'm moving up because I want to grapple hook onto the other side, which means we're not going to take an overwatch shot with that Galleon Poe. That's okay. I assume mechs are going to drop in. I was utterly wrong. Quite the opposite. Nice little hit. Interesting positioning they have chosen. Let's grapple our way up here. One, two, Okay, so the trooper will die definitely there. Um, this guy is a bit tougher just because he has so much armor. Hmm, we could kill him and death from above, or we could just pistol shot him, or we do. Probably that's the best uh, way to play it. Still some solid damage, and now we are going to face off. Yeah, only with maximum damage we would be able to kill him. Which means instead we're going to go in. And kill him with rent damage. And afterwards move right in front of the captain. So that Bladestorm triggers. We still have a 50% chance for, for a deflection. If he's trying to attack us, movement will trigger Bladestorm. And it's a... 50% chance to kill him. 8 to 9 damage. Of course, we deal minimum damage. The captain decides to run. Speaking about running, we are running out of time. We're not going to go for the target now. We're doing it next turn. Pistol Overwatch, there's still one more pack left, elsewise the captain wouldn't have run. <laughs> Three percent chance to delay dark events? Nah, that's not going to happen.
Look at that, here's the spectre up here. Like right there. Interesting. Okay. We are taking long watch, so we're taking an overwatch with a sniper. And we have seen that there is a peg right here. So if we move in, this might trigger the peg and Bladestorm. Damn, they moved. Ooh, 25 hit points uh, on a Spectre. Well, that's a lot. All right. Um, wow. Well, that's uh, difficult. Let's try to get this mech down first. Death from above will help us to grab over here still out of range okay that's unfortunate this here deals with the overwatch and this here deals with the spectre They only have one turn, right? Yes, right. Okay, which means if I move far enough away, maybe he won't be able to get me. Pistol Overwatch. Tactical Analysis. Let's see. Yeah, he couldn't, he couldn't quite reach us. Nice, done for three rounds, that is awesome. Which means he will not be able to do anything. Got death from above, got an overwatch. And this should trigger Bladestorm if the mech just comes around the corner. With the overwatch together we might be able to kill it. Uh, maybe not. Still has a lot of armor. Yeah, and we suck at Overwatch. More rockets. Okay. But that's GG. Nice. Pretty solid team, to be honest, against robotic units, very nice, against non-robotic units, yeah, maybe a bit more difficult. Very, very nice. Flawless mission. I know, for the viewer it's better when the mission is not flawless, but I'm actually very happy at the moment. because oh, And we got a promotion. It's uh, nice. I'm actually pr uh, pretty happy because it didn't feel so easy. Edgar Alien finally is a major as well. Got a scope, got a data pad, which is good, and got an advanced scope, which is also nice. Plus, we got towers. Done an job the resistance, 
Yeah, and towers. I think we. I'm going to research towers quite soon because then we can put, um, can we can start building defense matrix, which if we're being attacked against uh, again from a chosen should help us a lot. There is some loot. We're going for the con uh, contacts rather. So let's see what else. Shielded power coil. Supply drop, yeah, we will get the powered armor first and sabotage also. That's good. Look at that. Another resistance contact, which is beautiful. We're now at six. We haven't even built an, um, any, um, any building for it yet. And we're going to go for North America. Let's start installing a radio de uh, relay. Yeah, let's continue. Okay. Nice. Look at that. Renman just became colonel. And we got the Avatar project reduced by two. So good. So let's see what the other... Um, we're, we're pretty much close to the end of the month, so I want a fast run. Mobility plus one isn't bad. I think we're going for the mobility plus one. The reward is really shit. I mean, we would quite literally only do it for the mobility. So the question is, would something else be a better reward? Alien loot. And ability points are actually quite good. So three more days. Health isn't bad either. Whom could we put in? So 10 days. We know that Roby is out of the mix at the moment, which means we can put um, maybe um, Hogbite into it. He needs health as well. Uh, I, I think we're going to do that. Get rid of uh, the wounding problem. Fifteen ability points are pretty good. We can buy basically buy an ability um, with it. N plus one health is good as well. All right, we're promoting Renman. I take Rapid Fire over Reaper, but Reaper certainly is a very strong pick as well. So we're going to do that next. And yeah, I mean, looks good. We got two Colonels now, Zirkim and Renman, to run a couple of the missions. That's good. Got the avatar progress under control, pretty much. And we are starting to look strong. This year should be, as soon as we research the tower, this year should be defense matrix. We can start construction on the shadow chamber whenever you're ready, Commander. We're starting the excavation down there. Nice. So this here offers even more resist, uh, resistance uh, contacts. We're now uh, up to seven, which is enough to conquer the entirety of North America. So these two here will excavate. That's good. This here is for defense matrix. As soon as powered armor is researched, we can start with a tower.
super good. Specifically this here, the upgrade for the Templar. Got the Spectre Autopsy. Um, no, we don't need a facility lead right now. We can either decrypt uh, data pads, which will give us nice little intel bonus. You might want to do that, but before we do it, I would actually like to go with a turret breakdown, like I initially said. Now, if we were to upgrade the armor, we are looking at 600 supplies, which we almost have, 90 alien alloys and 75 alarium crystals. Let's try to get the alien alloys and the alarium crystals first. We haven't checked the black market this month, so might as well do that now, spend some intel, come back. We do have data pads, so we can regain intel. Okay, just spend almost the entirety of our intel to upgrade our Illyrium and uh, our alien alloys. We're still not having enough, so we will need to research. Uh, we will need to research more uh, the data pads specifically. So we are. Yeah, we're pretty much short the alloys and the Illyrium way short. Anyways, Celestial Gauntlet. I am going to upgrade that regardless because the Templar is a very strong soldier of ours. I am more restrictive on the others. Shotgun might also be a good idea. But we don't have enough Valerium, so it is what it is. And the armor will um, benefit everyone. For the Western European... So might as well focus on powered armor for now. Edwin stepping up. Uh, XCOM will be not concealed at uh, the start of the mission, okay? And there is a supply rate, which is basically an uh, option of the game to tell us, guys, you have some more resources that you might want to uh, use, uh, specifically alien alloys and delirium. Uh, it is going to be a very difficult mission, and we're most likely going to do it, since it's a non-timed mission. Ah, damn, Out Outrider is not available. Maybe we're going to do it with Edgar, Alien, Poe and Renvin. Yeah, that could be a thing. Renvin can still scout, Edgar, Alien, Poe can uh, take them down from afar. It would really be good to have Outrider, but can't change that right now. It is what it is. I will figure that out until the next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and don't forget, if you enjoyed it, um, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.